Hey everyone, I got another knife to show you today. This is the Buck Vantage Select. This one has the paper stone handle. Which I'm not 100% sure what uh, what that is. I know it's uh, some type of recycled materials and stuff. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool handle. Um, it feels pretty sturdy. And the look of it's a lot like a a smooth G10, I'd say. Um, this one's pretty slippery, but that's because they had they didn't really put any texturing on it, and uh, seems like they could have put some texturing and given you some more grip. But overall, I love this knife for a few reasons. Um, first one is I bought it for 15 bucks from Walmart. Um, they normally sell them for 20 or 25 or so. But they're getting rid of their buck knives at my Walmart, so 15 bucks clearance. Um, now this is a flipper knife. You could use the flipper and open it, or a thumb hole. You can see it's got kind of a, I'm not sure about grinds, I don't know a lot about them, but you can see that that grind on there looks pretty cool because it's got that there and then the top part is all like a mirrored polish it's a liner lock full steel liners um, they're not milled out there's no jimping on this liner but it sticks out enough it's pretty easy to get a hold of um, this knife is extremely smooth um, it does use bronze washers which for fifteen dollars blew my mind but um... Uh, and this is made in the USA as well too, it's not made in China so fifteen bucks for this I'm not sure if you could read that but it says right there USA adjustable pivot screw open pillar construction really deep carry pocket clip for you guys who like the deep carry right or left side tip, tip up only um, I think the place where they saved most of the money on this is probably the 420 steel that they use um, they use 420 HC and Buck likes, likes to use that quite a bit but for this knife I don't care it came razor sharp uh, it's got a nice belly to it it's a pretty sweet blade um, because I like this knife so much I do plan on getting their Vantage Force Pro which is a blacked out blade G10 handle and uses S30V steel and I believe it also has some jimping back here which you can see this one doesn't um, overall the length of this knife is this does come in two sizes too this is the large um, the large has a, I don't know, a three inch blade with full length being seven and a half inches. I believe they say it's a little bit over three inches from Buck. Weight, 3.7 ounces. So it's got a, feels good, feels perfect to me. Um, you can do this flipper blocks your finger a little bit acts as a little guard um, the ergonomics so good because the shape of the handle is pretty much a good shape for any carry it is next to a sharpie and cold steel American Lawman so you can see it's quite a bit smaller than the American Lawman which is a, I don't know, I wouldn't consider it a large knife, but it's it's on the verge of being a large folder. I believe it's got a three and a half inch blade, cold steel says. But yeah, this is the larger version. I believe the small version uh, has a round, I think it's a two and five eighths blade, but I'm not 100% sure. But overall, yeah, I'm, I'm extremely happy with this. Um, when I bought it, I didn't think anything of it, and uh, I started playing with it, using it some, and 
Yeah, I love this. I think Buck hit a home run with this, and, you know, there's not much I would change other than uh, adding some more texture on here. And possibly uh, some jimping on the back on the thumb ramp, but they do do that in their higher force model, which is like the tactical version of this knife. And also, um, depending on what model you get, this could come with diamond wood handles, paper stone handles, aluminum handles, or G10. So, and price varies on all those. But, yeah, this is the Buck Vantage Select with the paper stone handles. And I definitely recommend it. So, go pick one up. Alright, thanks.